So you notice Jessica's lying on her back. She's got her feet up on her stability ball. Hands nice and wide apart to give her a nice base of support. And when she's ready, she's simply going to start doing some lifts. She's lifting up until she gets her body as a nice straight platform. Legs are extended. She's not arching her back here, so we've got a nice stiff board. And she's just going to hold it for a few seconds, come on down, and just do a few repetitions. The beauty of this exercise is that it really targets the core muscles on an unstable surface. Now, if you wanted to use this as an exercise during your workout to give you a little more of a challenge, two things you could do is you can bring your arms closer to your sides, and you can also shift the ball away from you so just your heels are sitting on the ball. It's going to make the exercise a little tougher. Just complete the sets and reps indicated as part of your warm-up, and then you're getting ready for the next exercise. The knee tuck on a stability ball is another good exercise to kind of get your body warmed up for your workout. Now, what it requires you to do is what Jessica's doing here is she's kind of walked herself out into a push-up position. The, back, the tops of her feet and her shins are resting on the top of the ball. She's in a push position, nice and stable through here. You notice as she extends out, nice and stiff. She's not letting her hips hike or sag. Nice, stiff board, engaging those core muscles and her abdominal muscles. Her arms are in a position where they're directly under her shoulders. It's relaxed, extended position at her elbows. Head nice and neutral, and she's simply going to do repetitions, bringing her knees, kind of tucking them sort of under her hips, and then just extending back out. And just do your repetitions as specified in the program. The stability ball crunch is another good exercise to target your core and your abdominals. Now, as Jessica is demonstrating here, she's kind of walked herself out. She's making contact with the small of her back and the back of her hips on the ball. She's, her legs are nice and extended out in front of her with a nice 90 degree bend at her knees. Her hands are placed on the front of her forehead. It's going to take a little stress out of the neck because a lot of people with their hands behind the head are going to tend to pull their head forward. And we're going to do our repetitions here. Now, if you want a little more of a challenge with this exercise, Jessica can just drop her hands behind her head and just complete her repetitions that way. Curling herself up, trying to get her shoulder blades off the ball and going back down to touch her shoulder blades to the ball. Other options, if you find that this is a little challenging, Jessica can simply cross her hands across the front of her chest, curl on up like that, or she could place her hands on her thighs and perform her repetitions that way. Fabio is going to demonstrate for us now the dumbbell deadlift. To begin, he has the dumbbells placed outside of his feet, and moving into the exercise, he'll begin with a hip hinge, pressing the hips back as he lowers down to receive both dumbbells. Moving into this exercise, once again, you'll move the, into the movement with a hip hinge, and throughout the movement, keep the arms extended alongside of the body, and as you see here, the full range of motion is actually bringing the dumbbells down to the ground. If you do lack flexibility or notice the heels coming off the ground, perfectly okay to come down just halfway throughout the movement. Also, as you notice, Fabio is keeping the shoulders stacked directly over the hands as he completes each repetition. The dumbbell step up is a great exercise to target the muscles of the front of your thigh as well as the muscles of your butt. What Jessica's going to simply do is she's got a riser in front of her, holding the dumbbells in her hand. She's simply going to step up onto the riser. Now, you notice when she does this, she contacted with the heel first and then allowed the entire foot to make contact with the riser before she actually steps up and brings her opposite foot up onto the riser too. Then she's going to step back off with that same foot. So she's starting with her right and stepping off with the right. And she's going to complete her reps here with one leg and then she'll repeat the exact sequence leading off with the opposite leg. Now the idea here is simply to keep the body nice and stiff, dumbbells at your side, simply come on up, control yourself, get the nice balance to step back down. Now if you wanted to increase the challenge of this exercise, two things you can do. You can certainly hold heavier dumbbells or you could actually increase the height of the riser. That would certainly bring a new challenge to this exercise. The barbell push press is a great exercise that targets both the lower extremities as well as the upper extremities. As you can see here, Fabio is performing the exercise beginning with a squat movement, initiating with the hip hinge as he lowers down, keeps the bar close to his body throughout the movement, wrists are in a neutral position, and he extends up, he presses the bar straight over the head, keeping the arms in line with the shoulders. Notice here he is squatting low throughout the movement. If you do not have the flexibility to sink quite as low as he's doing, perfectly fine. Just once again, initiate with a hip hinge before pressing the barbell overhead. If you don't have a barbell at home, you can also use a broom or any other type of weighted equipment to help complete this exercise. The stability ball dumbbell press is a good exercise to target your chest muscles, the muscles on the front side of your shoulder, as well as your triceps on the back of your arms. Now what Jessica has done is she's kind of walked herself out on the stability ball. She's lying on it resting her head on the top of the ball, her shoulder blades, the small of her back as well as the back of her hips. 
Her legs are out in front of her with a nice 90 degree bend in her knees, and she's creating a nice stable platform. Now in this position, she's gonna hold the dumbbells, and always maintain that neutral wrist position. She lowers the dumbbells down to about mid chest level, and when she's ready, she'll exhale, she'll extend her arms overhead, pressing them above her, point where the dumbbells will be aligned with about the bottom of her chin. The idea is just to complete the repetitions with a nice controlled pace, maintaining the stability on the ball until you complete the number of reps specified in your program. The barbell row is a good exercise that will target muscles in the upper back, middle back, as well as your biceps. Now you notice what Jessica is doing. She's got a nice base of support. She's going to hinge and push her hips backwards into kind of a partial squat. We call that a quarter squat position. The weight's always going to be on her heels. And she's simply going to really set her shoulder blades back, kind of squeezing her shoulder blades together. And she just extends her arms out. And she's using just a weighted bar. You could use anything around the house, maybe a broomstick or anything that has a little heavier weight on it. She's going to extend her arms out, down to her sides, keeping the bar as close to her body as possible. The whole time, her back is nice and supported. It's not, she's not bending or flexing or anything in the, in the back. And she's going to complete a rep. She's pulling that bar until it makes contact with her kind of bottom of her rib cage area. And she's going to complete her reps until she either fatigues or she completes the number of reps aside. The dumbbell lateral raise is an excellent exercise to target the muscles of your shoulder. Now what Jessica is doing right here, she's standing with her feet in a staggered position. The idea there is to give her a nice base of support. And throughout this entire exercise, she's maintaining nice contraction through her abdominal region to keep her body nice and stable. The idea of this exercise is to start with the dumbbells at your sides and to bring them up to about shoulder height. There's no need to really go any higher than that. Now Jessica's doing two things first that I want you to really pay attention to. Number one is as she comes up to the sides, her arms are actually slightly in front of the midline of her body. That actually helps protect the shoulders from a little bit of injury. The other thing Jessica's going to do is as she's coming up, she's also giving us a little bit of a rotation of those dumbbells, rolling them upwards, not all the way, just slightly, again trying to preserve the shoulder from any unnecessary injury. So she's going to perform her reps until she either achieves the number specified in her program or she starts to feel fatigue in those muscles. The stability ball dumbbell fly is also an exercise designed to target the muscles of your chest. Now, in this exercise, Jessica has sort of walked herself out on the stability ball until she's lying with the back of her head, her shoulder blades, the small of her back, and the back of her hips, making contact with the ball. Her legs are out in front of her with a nice, roughly 90 degree bend in her knees, so she's got a nice stable platform. The idea here is to sort of bring the dumbbells up overhead, keeping the wrist nice and neutral, and simply open yourself up. Let the dumbbells fall to your sides, never locking out the elbows, slight bend in the elbows, and letting those dumbbells come down till they're at level width or slightly higher than your shoulders. Things to consider during this exercise is as the arms drop, there will be a tendency to throw your hips up and create a bigger arch in your back. Try and control the movement on your hips, keep it nice and stable, and just perform your repetitions until you achieve the number specified in your program.